hi everybody, my name is Dr. Hitesh Patelia from Ravens Court Dental Practice in Hammersmith, Holistic Dental Care. I earlier on talked about stress management and uh, touched on clenching and grinding. So now I'm going to talk a little bit more about clenching and grinding and how to be aware of it. So um, clenching uh, basically means your teeth are sitting together and you're often touching them the whole time, which means there's extra stress on the system. And grinding is often when your teeth are touching together and you make the noise in your sleep, which goes a bit like this, horrible. Now, <laughs> that chalk on the board uh, scenario. Um, so that's how it does. Uh, so what happens with this is that if you consistently keep clenching, you can start little micro cracks on your teeth. And uh, those micro cracks, uh, cracks in, uh, in time can start going deeper in the tooth, may affect the nerve of your tooth, and you may face the scenario of needing root canal treatment, crowns to save the tooth, or in some cases, if the crack is very bad, you end up losing a tooth. Uh, the other aspect of that is you could just start wearing your teeth out, then they don't look great, your fillings break, your front teeth wear out, you get little chips around there, and you find you're, you constantly be needing maintenance treatment. So if you start to become aware of this, what you can actually do is, during the day, start putting the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and that keeps your teeth apart. There's a very good way of controlling that. But that is to do during daytime and then we perhaps think about some breathing exercises, some yoga, some meditation or anything else that will help you to relax as long as it doesn't involve clenching your teeth while you're doing that. The other thing is if uh, using the tongue on the roof of your mouth helps to uh, prevent clenching during the day, what happens in your sleep? Well, when we are sleeping, our subconscious takes over and we have no control over that. And in those cases, we tell patients to have a night guard. A night guard will be a little appliance that you wear in the mouth, which allows you to prevent uh, or reduce the chance of damage to your teeth and your system through clenching and grinding. So here are some examples of that. And this is an example which I call gold standard, which is a heat cured splint. There's no give in it, it's quite hard. And it's similar to an orthotic that you often use in your shoes to sort of line up your knees uh, and your uh, hips and your ankles. So this will allow your jaw joints to relax, your muscles to relax as well as help to prevent uh, much damage to your teeth or reduce the damage to your teeth. There are other ones available which are a bit like soft sports guards like this. They're fine as a temporary measure for a week or two weeks or something like that but used long term because they are a bit like a chewing gum it actually encourages you to clench or grind because when you're in the mouth you want to clench on it automatically when you take it out your muscles are used to clenching and they want to continue doing that so not a great idea for that so the other ones are called nti which can be used on the front teeth this is used very very selectively and it has shown that it can give rise to problems with your bite so i don't tend to use that very much lately there's been a product called serazen which has come through where you have something made to fit in your ears, both ears, and that allows you and helps you to control the clenching as well. And the final one lately that is moving more cases of therapeutic use of Botox to try and relax those muscles so you don't clench as much. So what can happen if you can continue clenching your teeth? It damages the system. So what is the system? The system is your teeth, the little ligament which holds your tooth in place, the fillings in the mouth, the gums, the jaw muscles, the jaw joints, and the muscles which hold the head, so the head, neck, and shoulder muscles. So depending on different cases, uh, some people will find problems with their teeth, some people will find problems with their uh, muscles and get head, neck, and shoulder pains or get postural issues as well. And now, can we all attribute this to clenching or grinding? No, we can't, but we do know that often that plays a part. So I hope this gives you a little insight as to what clenching does for your dental health in general, how it's often related to uh, stress, how to do some breathing exercise to control it, use the tip of your tongue to try to keep your teeth apart during the day, and if your dentist talks to you about having a night gut the next time, pay a little more attention because it may save you a lot of time and a lot of treatment and a lot of money. Hope this was useful. Thank you.